Hello, welcome to, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, um, video installment, however many, it's been quite a few now, um, since May, since I've been doing this, so as you can probably guess, it's a new camera angle, I've tried to bring it closer, so you get better pictures of me, <laughs> otherwise you wouldn't be watching this if you didn't want to see it, so, hey ho, as you can see, I'm still sporting the red hair, got it all out though today it is actually I've had to pull the curtain too because the sun was too bright coming through the window and it was like couldn't get a decent picture at all so it is a bit redder in real life but there you go anyway what's been going on well I've been off for about work about a week and a half and as you remember last time I was saying that I didn't really know how I was going to function because you know, since moving to sunny Bournemouth, where I'm from, if you've been watching that, you'll know anyway. Um, I've kind of thrown myself into my job. So I thought that I might struggle a bit. Um, I didn't, to be honest with you, just because I guess I've well enough established that I have a lot of friendships down here anyway. So I saw friends quite a lot through that week and stuff, and I did some stuff for me as well. Um, stupid things like sorting out my driving license and stuff. I've kind of been putting off for a while now, but yeah, I've got a driving license in my own, own name, yay! Male one's gone now, <laughs> finished. Um, and I've done a few things for myself as well to kind of, it's weird because as a trans person, when you're not living as you want to, you have this ultimate goal that you, you kind of, you want to be something and you're kind of working towards it, if you're in a position to anyway, and then you get there and it's like massive, massive, massive relief, but then it's like, what now? Once you've like kind of settled into life and stuff, what do you think I'm starting to do now? So I've kind of drawn up a bucket list, you must have heard of it, basically list of things you want to do before you die. And um, I've done one of them already, yay! I held a snake, my friend Rihanna, hi Rihanna if you're watching this, um, she, not that one, god I wish. <laughs> But she's just as lovely. Anyway, um, she let me hold her. She let me hold her corn snake. It's quite long, um, and it was amazing. It's holding a snake. It's like really weird. Do you think they're going to be? I don't know. It was smooth and shiny, and I, it was actually a lot warmer than I thought it was going to be as well. But um, yeah, beautiful, amazing. Um, I've been in awe of creatures twice in my lifetime. Once I was on a um, a pony. I was on holiday in the Dominican Republic and basically went on a pony trek and this guy was giving it the big in, saying he was a fantastic horseman and everything. We got back to near where the ranch was and we were on a massive plane and he goes, yeah, and he kicked his horse and went and it's only the second time I'd been in a horse in my life and I did the same thing and I kept up with him and I didn't fall off or anything, you know, I managed to maintain my balance. Um, but the, the weird thing was, was like, I was in awe of this thing, this, this, this pony, was like, pegging across this this thing and I had the same feeling with this snake it's like it's just a I don't know it's kind of like you, you kind of got a sense of its power and everything and how wonderful it was and that's what I did anyway so there you go so a thing off the bucket list there's a few things on there I'll tell you a few of them um, I want to skydive for charity um, definitely I want to try and learn a horse to ride a horse properly I want to learn to speak Spanish just because a lot of the world does anyway and I've kind of learned a few languages but mainly just swear words which is what you do and when you first first you learn a new language you learn the things that you can't say so yeah yeah I think I've got a little bit of an attitude towards languages anyway so yeah I'm gonna try and do that at some point <coughs> so yeah it's kind of good to kind of have other goals once you're settled into life which is what I seem to be doing now um, in terms of the trans journey, what's changed? In the last few weeks, honestly, I just think um, more settled and kind of more comfortable in me. Um, not that I was uncomfortable in the past, but it's just, you know, this is me. Um, I kind of don't relate too many male things at all now, the things that I used to in my life. I know I'm wearing Newcastle top today because we're playing Liverpool and I am going to watch it later. 
but you know those kind of things don't bother me anymore for lose for lose case there are such as life there's more important things like friends for instance um but yeah another good thing yay i forgot um basically i've said in the past i've been having issues with my daughter and coming to terms with that and speaking to her i tried it on skype a few times um with her as debbie and it didn't work out well i've now done it three times and it's been great yay finally um she's been amazing and her mum if you're watching hi um has been amazing too and like encouraging her and helping her to do this so um yeah that's been really 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 positive so hopefully i might get to see her some point soon i'm not gonna count my chickens too early yet because you know it might go a step backwards as well but that's been really positive there is kind of something in the pipeline as well that um might take things to wider audiences let's just say but i'm not going to mention anything about it unless it doesn't in case it doesn't come off but hopefully it will um other things that are going on for me at the moment oh yes any of you guys who are watching um i don't know if you know or will be aware of but it's the international transgender day of remembrance on the 20th of november it's a tuesday so it's two weeks next tuesday and basically it's for us to remember all those who um have been murdered because they're transgender it's bloody awful and it makes my blood boil thinking about it but one person every three uh, every 72 hours one person is murdered because they're transgender as far as I'm concerned that's one person too many um, there was an article on it in on the Guardian which is an English newspaper for any of our overseas viewers <laughs> and basically um, in I think it was Honduras last year just before last transgender day of remembrance there was a 18 month old murdered by her uncle by his uncle because he thought he was showing too much signs of femininity that's fucking disgusting sorry excuse my french it made my blood boil i mean but that's you know honduras has one of the worst mortality rates for transgender people in the world um and they attribute a lot of it to right-wing christians going there to preach christianity got a lot to answer for sorry any of my friends watching who are christians but it's just absolutely appalling so me and a few of my trans friends are going to be doing something for that um we might put something of it on youtube i don't know yet but um yeah there's that and i'm um, also next year so 2013 there's a national campaign to raise awareness for transgender people it's called living my life and bournemouth is the january venue for that um there'll be an exhibition from the 18th of january till the 28th and as part of that exhibition um there'll be lots of stuff going on um i don't want to give too much away but um there is a lovely author called debbie martin who's hopefully going to be releasing a book at the same time um and maybe a book launch in line with the, the event and i was very privileged to read the um book before it's gone to the publishers um it was amazing loved it absolutely loved it um I drew a lot of parallels from both characters. One of the characters was a man who joined the army straight from school. And that's something I did in a past life. And basically the other one was um, a person who eventually, you know, knew they were different in childhood, didn't really understand a lot of it. And then they became a trans woman. And yeah, it was amazing. It, was, it made me laugh. It made me cry. Brilliant. Um, watched a few good films lately as well saw skyfall the james new james bond incredible absolutely brilliant i love daniel craig as james bond i think he's the best one by far by a country mile some amazingly beautiful bond girls in it as well um while i'm on the subject of that i just wanted to say a thing about um sexuality again because it's something that keeps coming up all the time um just with certain people in my life basically um i say my I, I, I convey the fact that I'm, you know, still attracted to women and I don't think that's going to change and they kind of, they still question that and they say, well, you know, you've only been on the hormones a little while and that might change. It's starting to piss me off now. Sorry again, excuse my French, but at the end of the day, I know, I know my sexuality, 
it's not going to change, it's never going to change. And I can say that with such conviction because I've tried to look at men objectively since going on hormones to see if it would be any different if, if or if I would have any different feelings towards them. Nah, absolutely not. So, you know, I can say with as, um, you know, as much conviction as anyone can say that it's not for me. I mean, all right, I haven't done anything in terms of that since I've been living as a woman, but if the opportunity comes up, any beautiful single ladies out there watching this like what they say? Come and give me a shout. <laughs> there's always hope. Where there's hope, there's a way. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. As you can see, I've rambled a bit again all over the place, but I don't rehearse these things. There's no point. You may as well just speak from the heart because then you have a true reflection of where you are. Um, I'll probably do one in a few weeks. I might do one on or around um, Transgender Day of Remembrance. It feels like it might be quite a fitting thing to do. Um, but yeah, hopefully that you were all well and thanks for watching. Um, take care of yourself and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.